Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day Dollar Tree edition. This is the second video that I have purchased all of the food for all of my meals from my local Dollar Tree. I tried to pick the healthiest option, stay within my points, a reasonable amount of calories. It's a challenge, but it's super fun to be creative and try out these new meals created from Dollar Tree items. So if you're excited for another budget what I eat in a day, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. That way you know exactly what you should be eating every day for optimal weight loss results or weight maintenance, whether you're on the WW program or not. Highly recommend having your macros and calories configured for you. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So you can take advantage of that as well. Links, discount codes to all of my favorite things as well as my other what I eat in a day Dollar Tree edition and my Dollar Tree WW snacks video will be linked down in the description box as well. Lastly is my Facebook group. We'd love to have you so head on over and join us. So we have a what I eat in a day Dollar Tree edition so let's jump in. you've been through why you got scars since you walked through the door i've been trying to reach you cause i feel you what's the story to tell what's the story behind the mountain you're trying to climb think i've heard it before in a movie line we can ride our own end in this time So here's today's Dollar Tree breakfast. I went ahead and cooked up four slices of the turkey bacon. There's still three slices left. So not bad for a dollar. As you saw, I just popped them into my microwave. I had some frozen peaches from the Dollar Tree from my last video. So I went ahead and just defrosted those, added a little bit of cinnamon. And then I picked up these cute little mini crescent rolls. Also at my Dollar Tree, you can have one of these for two points or two of these for five. So I'm gonna go ahead and just have one of them with my bacon and fruit. So it is three points for four slices of bacon, two points for the crescent roll makes five, and then of course zero for the peaches. And then I'm going to pour myself my first cup of water for the day. I picked this up from my P.O. box. Thank you so much, Edie, for sending this my way. She sent me this cute towel that says, dogs welcome, humans tolerated, in honor of us picking up our new puppy, and this cute little bottle opener with a music note on top, and a very sweet card. This is her business that she has. I actually showed you guys some earrings from her company a while ago, and a lot of you purchased those and love them. It's Bolton and Grande, so here is the website. If you you want to go check it out and support a small business but thanks again Edie. Hey editing Jen here. I accidentally deleted the clip. I know am I new to this whole YouTube thing but I deleted the clip where I showed you my little lunchable snack that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So this was a lunchable but it was the snack version. As you can see here there were five crackers, five slices of cheese, five slices of meat. It was 160 calories and six points. So that's what I had as my morning snack, of course, along with some water. So let's get back to the video. So here's today's Dollar Tree lunch. I picked up some asparagus spears, a pack of pepper stir fry. I also picked up some jasmine rice, 
and some meatballs. So my plan is I'm going to make a stir fry and we'll put it over the rice. Now, like I said in my previous video, I am using seasonings and things around my house. I didn't see the need to buy seasonings when I already have them. So I'll get these seasoned up really nice, but this is the components of today's lunch. I'm going to go ahead and cook up a half of a cup of the jasmine rice because most likely Troy will have this lunch with me. Into my big skillet here, I'm going to put the peppers and the asparagus. My rice is cooking alongside my vegetables. I'm gonna pop the lid on until the rice is cooked through. I decided to go ahead and just add the meatballs with the veggie mixture. That way they can warm and cook through with the veggies. And the rice is just about done. So this is going to be a quick, easy lunch. It was $4 for everything. I have enough rice left over for several other meals. The meatball veggie mixture is at least enough for two to three people. So here's what's left over after making Troy a big bowl as well. So there's enough for one more serving. So I would say that this would feed a total of three people. All right, Nutrition is here. As I mentioned in another video, completely out of my fiber gourmet pasta, which is not something I ever want to happen. So I have almost an entire box of the pasta. I think I ordered three or four packs of each of the different shapes. So this is the light linguine. Why I love this pasta is it is 100 calories versus 210 calories, 25 grams of fiber versus two grams of fiber, 17 net carbs versus 41, seven grams of protein, two points for two ounces, where normal pasta is anywhere for five to six points for two ounces. So much better point value. Love that it's only 100 calories. It tastes so good. Nutrition is my favorite place to pick it up because they have all the shapes and I find it to be the most affordable. I also picked up the rotini shape and the penne, which is another shape, and the elbow. So I picked up, I believe, four bags of each shape. I also wanted to try a couple new things that I found on their website. I wanted to get to the $99. That's where your free shipping point is. And I generally just buy that worth of Fiber Gourmet, but I wanted to try a couple different things. So I picked up these Legendary Foods Pizza Flavored Almonds. I've heard that these are really good. There is no added sugar. So I'm excited to try these. Like I said, I've heard that this brand makes really good products and that these particular pizza ones are delicious. And I did try these eat me guilt-free brownies a while ago and didn't love them, but I thought that I would give them one more try. They were actually on sale on Nutrition's website. So I have a red velvet, the galaxy, the blondie, and then the chocolate and peanut butter. So I picked up one of each of those flavors. I saw that they had the popcorn flex chips. I like these because they're protein crisps and they had it in buffalo. I love the barbecue one, but I wanted to try the buffalo. And I also picked up the Lesser Evil Grain-Free Paleo Puffs No Cheese Cheesiness. I love this brand. They have nice, clean ingredients. And I thought that I would try the No Cheese Cheese Curls and an entire case of the Quest Tortilla Style Protein Chips in the Loaded Taco. This is really the only flavor of Quest Chips that I like. And this is eight bags in this box. So that is my Nutrition Haul. I will go ahead and link Nutrition down below. Highly recommend the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. And again, they have the best price and the biggest selection. Afternoon snack time, it's just before three o'clock. So I found these packages of pistachios. They have the ones in the shell and the ones outside of the shell. These are the 110 calorie packs. And then I found this six count lunch pack of little mini bags of pretzels for a dollar. And these are the small, small bags. They're 50 calories a piece and one smart point. So that's my afternoon snack, some protein, healthy fats, and a carbohydrate. Tonight's Dollar Tree dinner is Chinese style. I'm actually pretty excited for this. So I picked up this Eat Asian style beef and broccoli. This is the same brand that I picked up the mashed potatoes in for my last What I Eat A Day Dollar Tree. I will link that video down below for you guys. This entire package is 260 calories and I'll actually be splitting this with my husband. I also found some chicken and vegetable pot stickers and I thought that I could throw these into my 
my air fryer along with some spring rolls from Jennifer's Garden. It's got to be good if it's the named Jennifer, but these are spring rolls, traditional veggie spring rolls. So I'm going to pop both of those into my air fryer and then this just gets warmed up in the microwave. So this is the entire packet of the pot stickers three pieces is four smart points there's two servings per container so there's enough for troy and i and this is not even the full package of the spring rolls you can see that i still have four left in there a serving is three spring rolls but it's only one point for one roll and because i'm going to have three of the pot stickers i think i'm just going to do one spring roll if these are delicious, that is an excellent, excellent price. And then I am, of course, have, plan on having half of this. I'm going to cook everything in my Copper Chef little mini air fryer. I love this. I'll link this down below. I just picked it up on Amazon. Here's what the beef and broccoli looks like. It doesn't look too bad, actually. I definitely think it's a perfect serving for one person, but because we're having all the other good stuff, we're gonna go ahead and split this in half. As you can hear, air fryer is going in the background. I just wanted to show you that I am done with my gallon of water. This is all that I have left, and I'm going to sip on that while I cook dinner. And then I picked this up at the Dollar Tree as well. Now, I don't know if it's a really killer deal that this one sparkling ice was a dollar, but I really wanted to have a fun beverage to have once I finish my gallon of water. So this is the peach nectarine, and I'm going to enjoy that with dinner. It is zero calories, zero points. So here's the cooked beef and broccoli. It's a little lackluster, but I'm glad that I didn't just plan on this, that I did go ahead and get the egg rolls and things. So they're just about done. I'll plate this up. I'll be back to share all of the points. All right, so here's my dinner. So I have one half of the beef and broccoli lo mein, one of the spring rolls, and three of the pot stickers. It is four points for the pot stickers, one point for the spring roll, four points for the chow mein. So this is nine smart points. So I only ended up eating not even half of the pasta. It was way too spicy for me. And to be honest, the beef chunks in there, they taste a little weird. They have a very weird texture and consistency. Neither Troy or I finished it. So I definitely wouldn't purchase that again, but I would buy the pot stickers and spring rolls. They were both really good. So here's my Dollar Tree dessert. I found these honey-made graham crackers. They're six individual packs. There's two half sheets or one full sheet per pack. And then they actually had the Cool Whip original. They didn't have light, but they did have the Cool Whip brand original. So what I'm going to do is actually make a faux ice cream sandwich using the graham crackers and the Cool Whip. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering our faces You know it is all lies You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day Dollar Tree edition. I hope you got some great food inspiration from today's video and found it interesting exactly how quickly you can go through your points and how you can be severely under calories if you're not choosing the right WW foods. If you didn't know, I did an entire series of videos, points versus calories. I'll make sure I put that whole playlist down below for you guys, but it's very enlightening to know when you make better food choices on WW, a lot less prepackaged processed foods, you generally get in more calories instead of going through your points so quickly. You can generally reach your point and calorie goal every single day. So I hope that this gave you some good food inspiration, made you think of some things you can pick up the next time that you're at the Dollar Tree. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're not. I'd absolutely love to have you. Don't forget about the description box down below where I've linked all of these videos as well as nutrition coaching my Facebook group, and links and discounts to my very favorite things. Thank you so much for watching and definitely let me know down in the comments if you want more of these What I Eat in a Day Dollar Tree edition.